Hi friends, Namaste. Welcome to my channel. In the previous class, we have discussed about what are the asset side components in a balance sheet. Now, in today's class, I am going to explain what are the liability side components of a balance sheet. Now let us look into it. Hence, as per the equation of a balance sheet, assets are always equal to liabilities plus capital. So if you treat liabilities plus capital under the liabilities side, then assets must always be equal to liabilities. So under the liabilities side, there are broadly classified into two categories. One is capital and second one is liabilities. What is a capital? In the previous episode, we explained about the asset side components with an example like popcorn shop. Now referring to that example, in order to establish a popcorn shop, the owner must contribute an initial investment towards development of the shop or running of the business. So whatever the owner's contribution is there, that owner's contribution can be coined as capital. Okay. So owner's contribution is called capital or equity okay now liabilities so in the case of popcorn shop in order to run the business day to day there is one type of loan is required in order to purchase the machinery like popcorn making machine or some other packing machines like machines we need another type of loan. We have already discussed that one in the previous class. From the previous class, I hope you understand that in order to finance a machinery, there must be a term loan. Okay. In order to finance, to meet the day-to-day -day activity, we must finance a cash credit loan. Okay. Now, with this, you can understand definitely there must be a two type of liabilities. One is liabilities which will finish to end before 12 months and liability may extend above 12 months. Those liabilities which are having a repayment period more than 12 months, then those kind of liabilities are called as long term liabilities okay and those liabilities which will clear within 12 months those can be called as current liabilities okay that means what you can understand the current liabilities must be used for creation of current assets whatever the current liabilities are there that current liabilities must be used for creation of current assets why because the current liabilities are bounded to clear within 12 months how you can clear within 12 months you can clear within 12 months by consuming of current assets because no other assets cannot be consumed within 12 months other than current assets. So the inference is current liabilities must be used for creation of current assets. This is very very important point. Okay. And there is a long term liabilities. Why there is a need of long term liabilities? Because there must be a financing of 
purchase of machinery or there must be establishment of building that means construction of building or there must be a purchase of land for establishment of that building so for all these things these cannot be uh, consumed within 12 months so these can be categorized as long term liabilities hope everything is clear so there are three type of classifications under liabilities side one is capital which is the owner's contribution towards the company and the second one liabilities under liabilities there are two type of liabilities one is short term liabilities that is called current liabilities and the next one is long term liabilities okay then there is one more question why capital is under liabilities side why not it is at asset side because see this is the balance sheet of a popcorn shop not the owner of that popcorn shop means the the company or the shop owes to the owner because owner has invested an amount in the shop so it's a liability of the company to pay to owner at the time of dissolving of the company or the shop that's why since it's a liability it can be the capital owner's owner's investment is placed under the liability side okay this can be differentiated in a different way see the short term liabilities let us example a current liability to run the popcorn shop the current liability is uh, called as short term sources short term sources and there is a another liability which is like a bank term loan which is a which is also a source of funds to the company or the to the shop then what type of source it is it is long term sources okay under the liability side there are another version that is short term sources and long term sources since there is a source of funds then there must be a usage of that funds so whatever the current assets they are having the shop is having that is called as short term uses and the machinery and everything where what we are procured with the help of long term liabilities or long term sources those are all called long term uses okay am i clear under the left side that is liability side there is a capital and there is a short term sources and there is a long term sources under the asset side there is a short term uses and long term uses then now i define a fundamental principle with that you can easily understand what is the need of a balance sheet see never ever uses short term sources for long term uses that means short term sources must be used for short term uses only whereas long term sources can be used for short term uses i repeat once again short term sources cannot be used for long term purpose similar fashion 
लॉन्ग टर्म सोर्सेस मे यूटिलाइज फॉर शॉर्ट टर्म पर्पज ओके इफ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल देन यू कैन ईजीली कैलकुलेट द टर्न ओवर मेथड एंड वर्किंग कैपिटल असेसमेंट एंड ऑल द रेशियो एनालिस ऑल्सो होप यू गेट ए क्लियर ऐडिया on what is a balance sheet what are the asset side components and what are the liabilities side components if you feel boring from next class onwards uh, the real crux of the balance sheet will come into the picture hope you have understand the basic structure of the balance sheet in the next class we will discuss about the ratio analysis the fundamental part of the working capital assessment and ratio analysis thank you for watching my channel thank you